So I had a bit of a tragedy while I wasn't recording. Um, I went to the end to do some end busting and find an elytra, and I found an elytra, but then I immediately died while trying to activate it. I fell from a high place, and now I really have no way of getting back to where I was. So all of my stuff is as good as gone, <coughs> including the elytra that I spent into literally an hour trying to find. <sighs> At least I had armor that, that I had, uh, you know, pre-made for such an occasion. But all my tools, well, yeah. The good news is, I still don't have the most deaths on the server because someone passed me up a while back getting like 34. So, yeah. Uh, that's still a thing that I can be semi proud of, I guess. There was something else I needed to talk about at the tail end of this episode. What was it? I don't remember now. But I guess I might as well show you guys what I've been doing during that time besides getting my crap back. And, uh, oh yeah, there is stuff upstairs I need to show you guys. But I'll save that for later. You guys by now have seen this big hole that I dug. Not sure what I'm going to use it for yet, but it's there. I also dug out two smaller holes, which will probably end up expanding at some point because, well, you know, resources! Always need those. So, yeah, these are my two smaller holes. Again, I currently have no idea what in the world I'm going to do with these holes. But, maybe I'll find a use for them at some point. Who knows, maybe I'll turn one of them into a huge aquarium. I mean, probably not- OH! Hello- Oh! Oh. Jeez, that scared the daylights out of me. Okay, I gotta do that was a pretty pro move, but now come on, people. How hard is it to close the door behind you? Haven't you people ever heard of closing the freaking door? Hmm, mm mm. People are so inconsiderate. Also, not sure what I'm gonna do with this floor here. Maybe I'll have extra storage space, I don't know. <clears throat> Then again, storage is what I plan to do with my next extension. And back here, you know, just put some more uh, sorter doohickeys in it. Up oh, beside the point. As you guys can see, I've been decorating in my peace garden for. Ah! Would you stop that? And I've been at a jungle island. Uh, 
you know, just sky islands, you know, you know how it is. And a, a dark forest one. Where I'll probably put mushrooms on at some point. Probably. Maybe. Who knows. And I think these two floating islands look really nice. It doesn't look like... Take, uh... It doesn't look like... Take what Vanguard has done anything with the... The stupid ship. And I'm not sure what to do with it either, but... Ah! Here was I out of justice key. This messing me up and also make me jealous because I don't have a life or even though I rightfully earned one. But I died because it wouldn't activate. Uh, I think for now maybe I'll just sit in my Hey, airship, that's balloon. Or, oh, eh, then again. But yeah, I really like the custom dark oak trees. I really he like what I did with the, the jungle island. Though I do wish I had some ferns to put in it. And I also really like how the Peace Garden has come along. Hmm. At some point, I may have to just rebuild this thing. I doubt I'll ever have the patience, but... And at some point, if I ever get an idea for it, maybe I should. One thing's for sure, I'm definitely going to need a couple of upward expansions. Because, um, Mr. Frizzle has been busy making his uh, own large sky island thing. And, uh, it's quite large and quite tall, and currently he's beating me out for tallest build on the island. I feel like this might turn into some sort of Sahara Street type build off. Which is funny because we have nothing to do with Hermitcraft. Except that this server is Loki trying to emulate it. Hmm. What to do? do with this place. I swear to god, if he hits me one more time, I'm going to make a bow and arrow and start shooting at him. Oh, uh, I don't know if you guys saw this, but, uh, I may hit a, hit a mini super smelter. Ow! Oh, okay, that wasn't him. That was just me, me being silly and walking into thorns. But yeah, just like I said, it's a mini super smelter. <laughs> hmm. I'm not sure what else I need to show you guys. You guys already know about the wall. Oh, there is one thing I need to talk to you guys about real quick. And that would be Frostix's road. Frostix has been making basically a road for, or, you know, road grid thing for the server that goes to almost everybody's houses. It starts at his place, and I built the road to mine.